So I decided to do this as a video because I didn't want anything wrong to go live. But here's an example of my exhibit spreadsheet. And this is for an actual hearing that I have. So you can see over here on the left, these are the exhibits. I have evidence type issue, second issue admitted, and then whether or not it's admitted. And I'll, I'll explain each one. So for evidence type, you can see all the different evidence types that I've created. So it makes it really easy to categorize everything. Same thing with issue. If the exhibit is related to parenting time, I put parenting time. If there's some sort of second issue, I add that as well. And it has the same category. So these are the different categories for the legal issue that I think the exhibit relates to. This button is just a quick little button. If I hit admitted, that means the exhibit has been admitted. And since this was a real hearing, I need to undo that. So I know it wasn't really admitted. So the great thing about this is I do this ahead of time. I export this to Excel and then I have an easily um, distributable spreadsheet that I can send to opposing counsel, judge, the court reporter of the actual trial exhibits before the trial begins. And as the trial goes, I can just go down here and click admitted. Some other things that I do on this sheet are add notes. So if there's a particular note about an exhibit, for example, a legal objection that I think might be coming, I can include notes regarding that legal objection or an actual link to the law that would allow me to get the thing into evidence. I'm family law, so honestly, a lot of times pretty much everything gets in. But if there is something that I anticipate an objection to, or if I have an objection to the other side's exhibit, I put it here and I can just easily click on it as we're going through the exhibits. The other cool thing about this is this is sortable. So I can sort it by, you know, whatever I want. So if I want to introduce all the pictures in at once, then they're grouped together. If I want to introduce all the pleadings at once, then they're grouped together. And it's super helpful even for issues. So if I'm, because I pre-mark all my exhibits, so I can't, I'm not going to renumber them. Once a number's on it, it's not coming off, it's sticking. So if I want to sort by a particular topic. And as I'm going through my cross-examination, if I want to focus on mom's income, then here are all the exhibits regard regarding mom's income grouped together and you know father's income, et cetera. So I find this to be super helpful because during the trial, keeping track of exhibits, it just makes it a lot easier just to click the admitted button. And I don't, I'm not sure if I showed you this part, but these are all my different labels. So admitted, admi admitted via stipulation, admitted over objection. So all of these are sort of easily categorized and it makes it a lot easier and things are going super quickly to mark these. Sometimes if it's a Zoom hearing, I'll have my paralegal log on and she actually updates this in real time. And because it's, you know, just a board on a website, if she updates something that it's, in, it's immediately visible from my end. So I find it super, super helpful.